final decision would rest with him. It was an awesome responsibility for him. But he could see no alternative and agree. Three B-29s arrive at Tinian from the United States, bringing the last components of the bomb to the 509th. The 509th is now ready for its mission. Now at Potsdam, one final move. John McCloy. One of the great uh, questions was what we were going to do about uh, the Russians in the bomb and whether we should notify Mr. Stalin about it. We finally made up our minds that we had to, being partners, uh, but uh, the question was what his attitude would be. And that afternoon, at the conclusion of the uh, conference, uh, President Truman walked around to Stalin uh, with uh, Chip Bowen, our interpreter, and uh, he told him uh, substantially this, that uh, we uh, want you to know, uh, Generalissimo, that uh, we have uh, now developed uh, a, what we call a secret weapon, which is uh, of uh, tremendous power and uh, which in a few days we hope to use in the war against Japan. Well, knowing what he was going to do, I watched uh, intently uh, Mr. Stalin's face. Pretty much said, well, that's fine, just we'll, uh, we'll use it, and uh, what, what, what's the next item on the agenda? It let everybody down terribly because we were so worked up emotionally over this thing. I have always been of the opinion that Stalin did not grasp the importance of the uh, statement. 